So day two of our voyage from Eaton Soken to uh, March for our first ever survey and blacking. The blacking protects the boat's hull and you should be getting it done every two to three years really. We haven't got a clue when ours was done last because we've only had the boat a year and there, there weren't many records really telling us when it was done last but it has previously had epoxy done and then at a later stage has also had the bitumen so we, f we think it will be all right probably but you never know until you've had it out do you? And I love this, everyone cracking on with their day-to-day -day lives while I'm down here in this rusty vessel slowly sinking. Yes, we are sinking, but more of that in the later days. So as you know, they had an alarm light go off last night on the battery supply and suddenly we're, we were nearly out of power. So we're just going to check to see if the engine actually starts and we can continue our trip. Yeah, this will have to get the boat AA out. Awesome. Still on, isn't it? The solar topped that up, so you know you think that solar never does anything. Did it? It was on about six or seven volts last night. All oh, right. And now it's up to 12. I'm always slagging off the solar panels. Look at these little ones. They sort of came with the boat. I think because they came with a little wind turbine kit, it just seemed like something that wasn't very good. But Bex always says they're all right. Little spinny winny, so you can see exactly what it's like here, guys. Parked up at the back of a farmer's field. Rebels, hey? We've been told it's fine to moor anywhere, so we're mooring anywhere. Clearly, they didn't get the memo. Back to my trusty map. This is where we started. And we're round about here now. So today we will continue our journey and yeah, just stop off where it sort of seems, seems fun really and nice. And this is where we've got to be. This is in March up here. So we've still got all the middle levels to do. So pull the pins out and prepare for takeoff, guys. Lug that to Becca. She can sort that mess out. She is learning fast. Day two, here we go! Is it day two? Yeah. Day two. Again, let's zap past this little bit for you guys and get you to some cattle. Yes, a cow can only be referred to as a cow if it is female. Fact. Check out all the cattle, guys. Check out all the bovines, isn't it? Actually, they're probably all cows, actually. They're all female, so you're allowed to say cow. First lock of the day, Brampton Lock. So it's Thursday now, and next Thursday at 8 a.m. the boat needs to be at uh, Fox's Marina in March. So we're just gonna doodle along up there because it takes roughly about four days if you blitz it from Eaton Soken. I'm hoping that we can get up to St Ives today. It's probably my favourite place to pass through on this little journey. It's just uh, it's just nice, really, yeah. Get a good little vibe from it. But like we said, we're taking it easy. We're just, we're just trying to enjoy it, really. Thank you. Absolute fire now guys, absolutely smashing it, not, in, not one single problem, it's just so easy, it's just all so easy. Can't put that in. <laughs> I really do need to stop being so cocky because it will come back to get me. Through Huntingdon, I believe, here, guys. I do lose track a little bit because there's so many of these bridges and they all look the same. Famous guillotine. Terrifying, isn't they? 
Here she goes, Becca's taking lead on the boat. I think it takes a couple of days to sort of get your confidence back up on these things. Well, a couple of days. Probably takes a couple of hours. But getting all the, um, the timing right for coming in on the landing strip. So remember to reverse, to slow it all down. And then you come to the lock and every lock's a little bit different, you know, which, which bits to do first. The paddles down, the lock gates up. It's all part of the fun though, isn't it? Slowly coming into the lock. Listen to me giving orders, eh? <laughs> but now I've found out I come in really slow now into these locks and then you've got plenty of time if anything goes wrong. And often things do go wrong, but so far they haven't. <laughs> I'm speaking far too soon, aren't I? And you'll notice that you start getting an audience build up at some of these locks. We even had it on our first day where people think that you know what you're doing and you, you don't really. It's all good. So the masses had gathered, ready for my uh, paddly waddly skills. The pressure's on, isn't it? Oh, I know. <laughs> And we're definitely not very good at it. We're not very professional. Yeah. Turns out there were viewers from the vlog that had specially come down to view the disaster. We'll still be here in about five minutes, so there's a... <laughs> Take care, guys. See you later. <laughs> They weren't really uh, viewers of the vlog. Though a few of them asked what the name of the channel was. So hi if you're watching. Been moored up roughly about 30 seconds. Well, Rebecca has decided to go nettle picking. This uh, chaotic narrowboat life brings out the, the madness in everyone. I mean, she's gone absolutely mad now. She's got my gardening gloves on. Make some twine. Oh, Make bracelets and stuff with it. Absolute bloody nutcase. She's lost it. She's lost it. I'm worried she's going to go for that. There it is. Yeah. You're going to do some boat DIY while we're on the cruise? No stopping me when the toilet's concerned. Never in the history of mankind has a woman been more obsessed with Portaloo. Yeah. Should we try? And I'm through. Look at her, straight in. You all right down there? Does it smell? No. Wow. Look at that. So we'll try it out and see what we like. Because if not, I can just fit, uh, make a wooden lid so that we sit on it as it, like we were before, like that. But then if we want the lid down to cover it up, we put the lid down. Yeah. Have you ever fitted a toilet seat before? Um, yeah, I think so. I've never fitted a toilet seat before, ever. It wasn't straightforward. I mean, it's a cheap one, you can tell. Well, you have a seat. Yeah, good. Do you think that feels nicer than when it didn't have it, or? Depends how, when you got it off, it all dangles down there, isn't it? <laughs> but you're a bit higher, so at least now your bits are touching the bottom. Were they touching the bottom before? Um, the knob was getting close. And if anyone can help us out here, my charger for my laptop was making weird noises. Comments down below, please! Again, the old spin technique, guys. We are pushing these vlogs like no other channel. So she's had her fun. Let's get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> did I look worried? Could you tell? He did look a bit concerned. <laughs> Always at takeoff. Always at flight. Just squeeze a little air in. Squeeze. 
Always a little air in for fun, eh? I want to see if Chris can recreate his like amazing mooring up in St Ives where you had to just like pivot pivot and just park in this tiny little space that was about gave us about an inch either end of the boat he did it so well no way that was well lucky we we're lucky not to mow down that little yogurt pot boat weren't we <laughs> <laughs> a really expensive one it's nice and quiet now so hopefully not too many people behind us or in front of us Professional Rebecca. <laughs> We're trying to create a professional vlog here for a professional channel. So we're just approaching Hemingford Bray Lock. I think that's the right name. Chris is under pressure to park up. A moment of panic. This is the one where we got stuck on the other side like a year ago, but we're coming from the other side now, so we should be all right. That's where we got stuck there last time, Do you remember? Oh yeah. Shallow there. So here we go, St Ives, we made it guys. And you can moor just down the front here, it's lovely. Who's this? Scally, just sitting on a bench. I sat there. They put these lovely little benches out for captains and Captainette, a cheeky little beer to celebrate the evening. Awesome guys, like, subscribe, smash the bell, all that nonsense. Catch you in the next one.